I've been a producer and a network executive for a very long time now. Um, I started off with the BBC and did shows like The Two Ronnies and Blankety Blank and Generation Game. And then I did my own shows like uh, Young Ones, Three of a Kind and Red Dwarf. And then I went out and became an indie. Um, and then uh, I was there when Carlton uh, won the bid for uh, a UK license in the famous Thatcher uh, franchise round. First time you had to pay money to broadcast. Uh, and then I went to the BBC and I was uh, head of entertainment and comedy there. And then I went to Australia for ITV and ran the, the company down there. Then I went to Los Angeles and ran ITV in America. Then I came back to the network. I was head of entertainment and comedy at the network. And now I run around the world telling people what I've done. Talent is the heartbeat of any show, if you use the word reasonably broadly, not only the on-screen talent, but the writing, the, the, the direction, and so on. You're never going to make a good show unless you've got not only good talent, but committed talent that believes in the idea that you're working on and wants to be part of it. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, the two runnies on the screen or, or Ricky Gervais on the screen uh, is absolutely crucial, but they're at the head of a pinnacle, as they well know, uh, of writers and directors and musicians and costume designers and so on. So talent is absolutely essential. T uh, talent can possibly rescue a mediocre script for you. Nobody can do anything with a bad script, as I just demonstrated downstairs. Uh, talent can rescue a, a mediocre show for you, but bad talent can absolutely wipe out a very good show for you. I don't know what it is about talent that makes you that makes you believe in it, but that's the whole point. It's like the Catholic faith. You know, it's at the end of the day, you can't prove it by dogma. You have to believe it or you don't. Um, and you have to believe in talent or you don't. So if you sit in the back of a dingy club uh, and you see a very young Rick Mayall doing Vanessa Vanessa and it makes you laugh inside you in a way that nobody else has made you laugh before, that's what you're looking for. Uh, and you can watch 20, 30 comedians and suddenly that one does it for you. That's talent. Look, the, the secret to pitching, in my view, and again, it's not the answer you want because you want a mechanistic uh, uh, rule, but the answer is it's about passion. When, when somebody's sitting in front of you and you're, about, you're being asked to commit very often millions of pounds, certainly hours of prime time screen time, you want to see somebody across your desk that would die in the ditch to get this idea made. You want to see somebody who you know, if you give them the job, are gonna work 24 hours if it need be, are gonna not worry about their own profit margin, gonna put as much money into the show as it needs to make it work, uh, and also have an idea that's energized them and believe, made them believe enough for them to come and put this idea to you. That's enough. Now, if that's also coming from a person who you respect, a producer that you know and you've already done good work with, that really is almost enough. I mean, you could come in and say, I've got this great show called uh, My Mum's Teacup. Uh, if it's Larry Bass saying that and he's saying that with some passion, I'm listening already. I'm listening very carefully. Titles are much more important now than they used to be because in a simple world, two or three channels, uh, it, you were able to make your show known reasonably easy. Now with uh, anybody will tell you who buys a show no matter what you pitch it as when you actually go to air the show will be a title that works on the EPG that works on the as you're scrolling through so any title that the first three words are by the maker you know the, the it's got to be there blankety blank it's got to be there the generation game you can't have a title because the EPG only has three words on it so if the secret of your show is in the fourth or fifth word that's wrong for a start which is a pity because I hate titles I'm really bad at them I can never think of anything to say, clever or witty. Um, but titles are crucially important, and titles can sell a show. I, I once sold a show to America called American Princess, which I invented in the room because I'd gone in to pitch something different, and they didn't want the thing I'd pitched. Look, I think at the moment, if you're a comedy performer or writer or you want to do comedy, uh, I, would, I would always say to you, back 20 years ago, do it. That's the best way to do it, is get on and do it. But now that's so much simpler to do. You know, you can get some friends together, use your your, your, your smartphone, and you can record shows on that. Uh, and then once you've made your show, you want them to be seen. So get it up on YouTube or any other medium you can uh, on your Facebook page. Get it up on a Twitter link. Get it, get it up any way you can. Um, and that's clearly happening. And a lot of people are doing that and finding success with that. But at the moment, the broadcast audience is still the biggest simultaneous audience you're ever going to get. And most people want their work to be recognised by the most amount of people, not only for financial reasons. People, if they believe they're funny, they want people to laugh at them. So they want to get it out there. So uh, 
you still want to try and and get your show sold to broadcast. The trouble is the systems within broadcasters at the moment, in my opinion, are so risk averse that it's quite difficult to get something new on the air. But uh, the, the, the sort of belief that you can go, in the old days there was a kind of belief that, you know, oh, we'll do a radio show first and then we'll graduate to TV and so on, which was never true. Radio is a medium in its own right and a very valuable one and you can do things that you can't do on TV. Just now, I think people think, oh, I'll go onto YouTube and then maybe somebody will see me and I'll get a few followers and then it'll be, you know, and, and some TV executive. No. Do you think PewDiePie gives a damn about television or how many TV execs watches his thing? Do you think the guys who do the epic rap battles give a shit about TV? They don't. So uh, it's not uh, a means to an end. It's an end in itself if that's what you want to do. If you want to be on TV, then maybe it's a way to get yourself recognised. You know, the, the um, South Park famously got commissioned on the basis of a, of a Christmas card, uh, an animated Christmas card that was sent around the, the network executives. Um, but, you know, don't think of TV as the be-all and end-all because it's decreasingly so.